because of uh, lack of overflow of Atlantic saline, warm Atlantic water into the North Icelandic waters where we have the nursery grounds for cod. And at that time, the herring stock collapsed also because there was a lack of production in, in the, in the uh, crustacean stock in, in northern waters, plus the overfishing. So we have these fluctuations. And in recent years, we have, um, we have had a warm water regime. So this is much greater variability than the predicted global warming, warming in the next century or so in these waters. We are talking about five degrees uh, interannual variability in temperature in these ocean areas, while the prediction for the same area, the next 100 years, uh, increase in, due to global warming is one to two, two degrees. So actually, we are used to major fluctuations in the conditions. And we have seen haddock, which is a typical southern Icelandic coast species, and uh, monkfish. They are, have occurred at the south coast of Iceland. They have exploded in the last decade due to the warming up of the, of the entire area. The same blue whiting has entered into our zone, herring, mackerel also. We have had the uh, increase in Norway lobster. And we have had great difficulties for cabelin, which is a cold water species. And that is a serious matter because cabelin is a fundamental species in the system. While we're on the uh, environmental changes there, one of the things that I've heard about with the, with the warming sea temperature is a concern about acidification of the ocean water. Is that something that you're monitoring? Is that likely to be an issue independent of the temperature effect? Well, I wouldn't know. Uh, there are some indications of it, yes but uh, we have not regarded it as a serious threat in, in this uh, ocean area because simply of the, uh, uh, of the, of the buffering uh, capability of the ocean as a sink for such things. But uh, nevertheless, there are indications that have appeared in recent years. So it is an issue, definitely. Uh, Haddock, you see blue and white, is low density, 1994, low density in northern waters, high density in out of Reykjavik and south of Iceland. And then in 2005, 2004, 3, after the turn of the century, dramatic changes and the bulk of the stock is north of Iceland now. And this is simply a, a consequence of, of changed uh, uh, sea conditions. Cabling. As I said, it's a beautiful species spawning here, juvenile area here, north of Iceland, and then it goes far north uh, into the Arctic Ocean, outside or well beyond the, the uh, exclusive economic zone of Iceland. And it triples in weight, returns back, and uh, spawns around Iceland. And what this actually means is that this species is spawning here, and it is eaten by a lot of fish species, whales and seals and, uh, and birds. And then it is leaving the zone and bringing back triple its weight. So it is bringing biomass into the continental shelf. And it is a, really a backbone species in, in the system. So when it is threatened by the warming up, that is quite a serious matter. And cod is hungry, and uh, so, so we are seeing consequences of this. We are looking at, the, when we are doing our assessment of the fish stocks, we are doing it or making an attempt to make our predictions for the different, well, several different species on the basis of multi-species interactions, because that is a very important issue. Uh, here I show you the cod. And cod is eating cabling, and it really has a dramatic uh, influence on the, on the well-being of the cod, how big uh, the cabling stock is. 
And the cod is also eating shrimp. Um, Cabling is extremely important for cod. Shrimp is less so important for cod, but cod is very nasty to shrimp. It can wipe it out, and it has done so in recent years. So although cod is eating quite a lot of shrimp, uh, cabling is far more important food item. So there are such, uh, and then of course the whale stocks, they are in huge number in these, uh, uh, these waters, high latitude waters in summer season, and they are obviously playing also an, an uh, ecological role here. Here you see the size of the cabling stock, the blue column, and the weight of cod, six-year-old cod, the following year. And you see when the cabling is down, cod is lean. So this is really, when we are predicting cod, we first predict how much cabling there will be there next year, and then we use this relationship. OK, but the fish, fishery research, uh, if we are to make a good, reliable prediction of, of the status of the fish stocks, we need to understand that it costs a lot of money, a lot of effort, and we need to monitor the fishing, uh, fishing activity closely. Catch data is important, of course. Uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But also independent service. And we are putting millions of how much are we using actually? Maybe 500 million Icelandic kroner or 600 million Icelandic kroner annually on standardized monitoring service. Because they are so important. If we are going to interpret the fisheries data, of course, there is some cheater, but uh, leave that alone. Uh, there are so many technical inter uh, innovations in the fishing fleet that a trawler 10 years ago is totally different phenomenon from trawler today. So, and to correct the data, to interpret the data uh, of such uh, origin is very difficult. We are doing standardized monitoring service on board same kind of vessels with same kind of fishing gear, same spot, every year, after year, after year, after year, in order to get an indices of abundance. And that is, forms the basis of our assessments. It's very important. It costs a lot, but it proves to be extremely important if you are going to have any hope of, of knowing what's going on. Cuts data is important, though, and all the logs. But you have to have this independent service. And we are running such service, all kinds of service. These are all independent uh, stations we are doing annually, 1,500 stations annually. And we are measuring maybe 1.5 million fish. Um, every year in order to understand the size distribution, the age distribution, the species composition in different 